Hey, Brad. So what's the focus uh, right now? You know, you've been through about half the training camp. What are you going to get on uh, After a day off, uh, just review. Um, just talk about the things that we worked on last week. Make sure we haven't forgotten them. Um, and then start preparing for this week, uh, Charlotte and Milwaukee, um, kind of the things that they might run that we might see defensively. Um, and then also work on the offensive end too, what we might see defensively. So uh, that's going to take place this week. And then um, we have to make uh, the roster uh, announcements and then uh, get ready for uh, the re regular season. Hi, Jason. Hey, Along how you doing? Lines, uh, between now and next Thursday, what are some uh, benchmarks and milestones? And I don't know if milestones is the right word, but you can say what I'm saying. What are some things you're looking for that are indicative of being on the right track to play a real game? Yeah, I think continue to carry over deflections and steals. Um, then also, you know, the rebounding. Um, I think the group has been doing a really good job with that. And so we have to, you know, continue to be consistent in those areas if we want to, you know, be one of those top teams defensively, um, sharing the ball. And again, you know, the minutes haven't been what they normally will be for our starters or our rotation guys. So hopefully uh, one of these two games, we can, you know, get them close to those minutes. Yeah. Hey, Jason, um, you mentioned having conversations with Sam about whether he wanted to start or not eventually. Mm -hmm. Aside from that, what was it about Well, um, he made the decision. Uh, I, I've only asked him the question. Uh, you know, I think uh, when you look at Tim, his ability, uh, he's a true pro, um, knows how to play the game, um, has been around the game for a long time. And so uh, to ask him if he wanted to start, you know, was something that I knew that he started and came off the bench last year. And, and you can see he's comfortable doing either. So um, I wanted to make sure that he was comfortable in the uh, if you want to start or if you want to come off the bench. And, that. and so I think when you look at Tim, he's able to score the ball. But I think, you know, we're asking him to play defense, too. And, and we're, we're trying to show him the things that can help him be better at that position. And if he can do those things, I think he could be talked about as an all star, too, in this league. What are those kinds of things? More or less, it's not just, uh, you know, one on one. It's a team concept helping each other. And he's he's picked it up and he's done a great job so far with that. Okay, Jason. Um, how have things, or, or to what degree, um, how you view this team, how you wanted them to play when you took this job? Has has areas of that changed through conversations with players or first couple of weeks in your training camp? And what's that process like? Of just always continuing to update that mindset of how you want your team to play in compared to the results that you see. Yeah, I think uh, it's all constant communication. Uh, uh, you're going to ask uh, a lot of questions, uh, as we did today in practice, uh, because we're still learning each other, right? It's, you know, a uh, new coaching staff. The core of the team has been together. So I think we're, we're, we, it's fair to say that we're going to ask each other questions. Uh, they're going to have the answers. Um, and then for that, we got to be able to, you know, help in different areas if it's, you know, the little details of, of things. And so... Uh, but the focus has really been on the defensive end, and the guys have bought in, and you can see that in the first two uh, preseason games. Uh, yeah, first, how's uh, Tim's shot? Tim's shot? Uh, I think it looks great. I think it's always going in. I, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not big on numbers in preseason, uh, because again, we're asking them to do a lot of new things, um, defensively and offensively, and so. Um, I think shooting is going to come, um, and a lot of times they're more focused on trying to get the defensive stuff right. So um, we're getting great looks um, on the offensive end, but I think Tim Tim's shot is fine. He, 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 also, you know, the, the emphasis being on the defense like it is, you know, what would you consider marked improvement? I mean, are you trying to be a top ten? Do you want to be the best? Uh, what is there a numeric value or something that you're looking for to overall to say, okay, we've made Um, just to hold the team under, let us be the team that has the most points. Uh, that's just a joke. Um, 
No, I think, you know, we were at the bottom, right, you know, uh, defensively. So we, we want to be in the middle of the pack. But I think, you know, when you start setting standards, you know, you got to first see what we have. So that to be able to answer that question fairly, uh, give me around Christmas and then I can tell you exactly where we're going to be. Hey, Jason. Yes. What organizationally did you guys like about Eugene Amari in the offseason that led you to bring him out on a two-way? And what's been your evaluation of his practice performances and perhaps even more importantly, his preseason in-game performances? Yeah, I think uh, when you look at Eugene, um, most, if you listen to analytics, he wouldn't be playing basketball uh, because he doesn't check all the boxes. But the biggest thing that we learned uh, when he came in for his summer workout uh, in the short conversation that I had with him was uh, he wanted to compete against the guys that were there that day that were ahead of him on the board. Um, and that was kind of a little tidbit that I, I thought was kind of cool because he was on no board and uh, he want, he has something to prove, and uh, and and you can see that when he plays. Um, and he's you know when he came in for his workout, he worked out. He, he played extremely hard, and that has not changed. He's continued to play hard. Uh, he's developed um, since we've gotten him. He's gotten better. You can see he's a little bit more comfortable, uh, and feels like he belongs. And so uh, that's that's how this journey has started with him. And uh, I think he's proven that he belongs in the league. Uh, what's the third? Yep. Tim, I think I saw, if I counted right, like 18 in a row out there at one point when we were allowed to watch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just how have you felt getting acclimated to the new coaching staff and some of the new guys around? And how are things going so far these first couple of weeks? It's been great. Um, I think everybody is still um, getting used to the, the new concepts and the new um, regimen, you know, of the of the practices and the daily uh, scheduling. But other than that, I mean, with a little bit of communication, with a little bit of the guys knowing each other uh, very well from the previous years, and um, and uh, everybody just having fun. And everything else will take care of itself. So um, it's been great these last couple of weeks, and uh, you know, we're just going into this new week uh, with the same mindset. Um, I think it's, it's, I mean, it's better for me I'm mentally, but I mean, with that being said, it's, it's, it's all the same. Um, the, it's going to be the same intensity, same mindset, uh, same passion that I bring each and every day. And um, um, like I said before, previous years, whatever the team needs me to do, I'm, I'm willing to do that. So, um, I, but I do think I deserve you know, this spot and uh, I think I showed it uh, last year. Uh, I think uh, I took a step in that direction, uh, definitely in, uh, since I've been here. And uh, that's, I, I'll credit uh, Mose, uh, you know, he's in, in Orlando now, but I credit him as well as that coaching staff uh, to help me get to that uh, that level as well. But I, I think this, this coaching staff is going to help me get into a, a better mindset, I, I feel like. And um, um, with that being said, I mean, it's, it's – it's, it's all about wanting it. And I mean, I, I, I do have to battle with the uh, taking charges and stuff like that. So uh, um, I think it, all that will carry over. Yeah, Tim, uh, Jason was just talking about how we had a conversation with you about starting coming up with that book, your preference. Um, you just kind of touched on it, and I'm sure you have like copy and paste answers. <laughs> The same. So uh, I'm going to ask it in a different angle. Um, what are your first impressions of Kate as a head coach and his um, willingness and adaptability to, to listen to you guys and adjust uh, to what you guys have been? Well, I think, uh, you know, not to knock on, you know, the coaching staffs in previous years, you know, but I think just with guys uh, growing up and watching the game of basketball, especially with my age and, and we got a lot of young guys, uh, they, I mean, they saw J. Kidd. They saw him playing. Uh, they saw him getting drafted and, they saw him going against the MJs, saw him going against LeBrons and, you know, um, teaming up with Dirk here and winning the championship here. So I think it kind of um, gives guys a better understanding, I would say, uh, moving forward uh, and just hearing him out and what he has to say. But 
I think, um, I mean, it's all part of the process. It's a new, it's, all, it's a whole new staff. Everybody is um, getting to learn one another still. Um, but he's bringing uh, that energy and that passion um, uh, that we need as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I can't really say much, but that's about it. Hey, Tim. Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, you guys will be ready to open the regular season in 10 days and put your best foot forward if you do what for the next remaining 10 days to get ready. You said what now? I'm sorry. You said you're going to have to play a game in 10 regular season in 10 days. Okay, yeah. Game. You'll be ready to play and put your best foot forward if you do what between now and then? Um, I think continue to, to harp on our two uh, uh, things that we're going by, and that's uh, – being accountable and uh, and communicating, I think if we stay locked in with those two things, uh, everything else will take care of itself. Another question along the lines of playing defense. You were just talking a moment ago mm -hmm. that one of the things that you do that's a big part of it is you take charges. Um, schematically this year, I know everybody's talking about mm -hmm. doing things differently. Do yeah. You still have free reign to be able to do that whenever you see fit. And and along those lines, what's uh, for lack of a better term, what in your opinion is the art of your ability? To take charge with the art of taking a charge that makes it work for you. Well, I think the want the want to do it is, is key. And um, I mean, if I'm able to to read the defense and get out of position and sacrifice my body and make a hustle play, then I mean, it, I mean that's going to be a positive, you know, any chance uh, or any team that you play for. But uh, I think uh, taking charges it came from uh, being in Michigan. Uh, and Trey will tell you this, uh, with Coach Beeline, uh, he prided himself in uh, doing the little things and and. Uh, Taking charges were one of them, and if you had an opportunity to take a charge in the game and you did it, then you have to reenact that play in practice in front of the whole team, and then uh, recreate the play, and then you have to go over there and actually take the charge in front of the whole entire team. So, I think um, um, just having that instilled in my head and carrying that over to now, and a lot of people don't do it in the league. So, I think I just try to separate myself in doing so. All right, we're gonna have to zoom for two quick questions. Kevin, go ahead. talking about obviously some of the differences in terms of what you had from previous coaching teams and now learning with Jason Kidd. I'm, here, I'm curious because with him being a former player, is there a different level, I don't want to say level of respect, but is it a different level of feeling knowing that you're playing for someone who's kind of been through some of the same things that you've gone through and being able to communicate those experiences in a different way, even a little bit more modern with Jason Kidd as your head coach now? Yeah, no, I would say, uh, I mean, both coaches, coaches, um, of one, you know, at different levels. Jay Kidd as a player, Carlisle as a player and a coach. So with Boston and, and coaching uh, Dirk and Jay Kidd. So, I mean, <laughs> you could look at it any type of way uh, you want to. But uh, I think the only thing that was I would say was separated is the modern day uh, with, the, with the guys being a lot younger and knowing Jay Kidd, you know, with the blonde hair. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> and uh, and him beating, you no, know, him being part of the starting five that beat the big three with LeBron and and uh, D Wade and Chris Bosh up in, in Miami. So uh, guys, younger guys saw that. Um, so uh, I think that's the only thing that was separated. But you no, know, you never you can't take away uh, what uh, Carlisle did for the fr uh, franchise. It was remarkable. Lauren, go ahead. Hey, Tim, Lauren Dunn, Maz Moneyball, good to see you. Uh, as one of the veterans of this locker room, can you talk about how the the feeling is shifting, kind of going from the first half of this preseason to the second half as the season kind of approaches, especially in a Western Conference that seems to be so wide open this year? Yeah, I, I think uh, the second half of this uh, preseason is going to be uh, very, I want to say tough, but it's going to be a, it's going to be challenging just because of the, uh, of the guys wanting to, probably get out of being focused and moving on to games and getting the games right away and getting into the regular season. But uh, this is the time right now to buckle down and really lock in and focus in and, and like I said, hold each other accountable to do the little things and get everybody prepared uh, for this regular season coming up.